Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, I'm inside today. It is very, very cold and wet outside. And so I decided to come inside. But what joy it is that this is the day. Today is Monday. We can start with the Lord today. So much has happened this weekend. We are so thankful for those that had surgeries and that people prayed and now they've come through. There's others that are facing surgery right now today, and we pray for them. There's news that some have gotten sick this weekend, and we pray for our brothers and sisters that are sick because when one hurts, we all hurt. And so we need to call one another and ask for prayer from one another because we need to take it to the Lord together. And I pray for those that need comfort. A very dear friend of mine had just her husband went to be with the Lord this weekend and just so uh, uh, suddenly that it just shook her. And we just pray for comfort for those that are going through losing a loved one during this season. There's so much joy in this season of Christmas coming up because Jesus came and it said, the angel said, they will bring great joy. And so one thing that I hold on to during this season, I'm reminded again and again, because in Isaiah, the Lord said, a child will be born and he will be Emmanuel, which is God with us. And the same was repeated in Matthew, Emmanuel, God with us. So I hold on to that because when God comes into our life, when he is part of our life, taking hold of a life, there's joy, there's peace in the midst of our situation because God is with us now. And he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. One of the saddest things, parts of the story of Moses is where I am at. And it was just so sad for me to read it again. And this is the place where now they have run out of water, the children of Israel. And Moses goes to the Lord and the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. It is chapter 20 of Numbers. The saddest part of Moses's life is right here. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. And the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, take the rod, gather the assembly, bring them together and Aaron, your brother, and speak unto the rock before their side. And it shall give forth water and you will bring forth water from this rock to the congregation and everyone will drink this water. And Moses heard God's commandment. Moses that had listened to every detail of God had said through the years, God had been faithful to Moses, spoken to him, detailed things, and Moses had listened. There was one detail here. He either chose to disobey or he did it in his anger or in his pride, in his frustration. We don't know, but Moses took the rod, like the Lord said, before the Lord, as he commanded him. Moses and Aaron got the congregation together to the rock. And Moses said, here now, you rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand with his rod he smote the rock twice. God had said, Moses, you're going to take the rod in your hand, but you're going to speak to the rock and the rock is going to give you water. But here it says, Moses hit the rock twice and the Lord was very angry. And he said, verse 12, because you believed me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, Therefore, you will not bring these people into the land that I've given them. Moses was left out of Canaan as well because God said, you believe me not. So Moses must have done it because he had unbelief that how can I speak to the rock? Maybe I'm supposed to hit the rock with this rod that has done so many miracles. God wanted him to do this miracle 
in a different way, but Moses' unbelief kept him out of Canaan land. Today, there are situations in our lives that we come to situations. God has done so many miracles for us, but yet either we don't believe them or we get so angry, so frustrated, so sad about situations that we walk in disobedience to the Lord. And it says in Romans 6, 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but then we have the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So whatever sins we have, we still can come to the Lord God. And through Jesus Christ, he will give us eternal life and give us forgiveness for those sins we do, even unknowingly. And the Lord is always ready to forgive. Be blessed today.